everyone, it's Morgan. I just got home from work and my iPad arrived today. So we're gonna do a little unboxing. Before we start, I got the new iPad Air, the fourth generation. I did get the 256 gigabytes. It only comes in that or the 64. There's no 128 option or I probably would have gotten that one. And then I did buy the Apple Pencil. The generation two is the one that's compatible with that. And I also ordered a case just from Amazon. That was actually harder to get than you think it would be. Whatever, so I ordered it on Black Friday. It was originally $700. $150. I did get the education pricing, so it knocked 50 off the price, which was super awesome. So it came out to 700 or 699. And then the pencil with the education pricing deal as well was 119. So all that together, too much money. That's that's the total, too much. I got Space Gray just because I have a Space Gray MacBook Air. So, <laughs> they came in these two packages. Obviously the Amazon case came in this one, but we are just gonna go ahead and open this up. I feel like I don't look excited right now, but I don't know if you understand how excited I am. The reason I went with the 256 gigabyte one is just because I'm gonna do a lot of like editing. I'm not using this for school or anything, but I'll have pictures and videos and a lot of different apps and some editing apps actually take up a lot of room. So I feel like if you're debating it, honestly, I'd pay the extra money and get the bigger size only because I literally, being the math mind I am, I found like the unit rate, like the price per gigabyte, and obviously the 256 was a way, way better price. $700 for 256 gigabytes would be about $2.73 per gigabyte. And then the 64 gigabyte was $5.50. So if you divide that, it would be about $8.60 per gigabyte. So obviously that is a huge difference. It obviously depends what you think, but I just went with the bigger one. I did, however, get the Air, not the Pro, because the main difference is the camera. And the Pro is probably a little bit more heavy duty, but I don't think I'll be spending hours on it, like I said, because I'm not using it for school. And I don't need a good camera. I have my own camera. I'm filming on it right now. I have a decent iPhone too. So it's just like the iPad is not what I'd be taking pictures on. Whatever, that's my reasoning. I wanted to give you the background. Now let's open it. There we go. I'm sure you recognize this logo because the ads everywhere have this exact design on it. So obviously it was packaged real nice. Nothing's gonna break. I will go ahead and take the plastic off. It has this little tab started. So I guess that's pretty nice. Obviously it's in a traditional Apple boxing like you could expect. Okay, I need to chill. I need to chill. I need to chill. Here it is. Okay, so this is it. Oh my goodness, is it thin? I was not expecting that at all. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's very thin. Like, just look at that. I mean, the air, the whole purpose of the air is to be light and thin. You know, that's why the MacBook Air is so little. But wow, this is very thin. Okay, before we dive into that, let me just show you the box. Okay, so, well, it has, you know, the directions like you could guess. It has the little charge wall cube part and then the charger, which I think think yes this charger is the same as the macbook air at least the current and newer versions so i guess that's nice because i do have an air so now i have two chargers and then yeah nothing comes out of here this is that's it <laughs> obviously in the little packet we have all of the instructions that nobody ever reads we have a little sticker that i mean i don't use i feel like that was cool one day but i'm not gonna put it on okay that's everything let me adjust the camera and let's keep going so <laughs> here she is like i was saying i can't believe how little it is like it's just very thin very light like it just it feels like nothing one of the main things i want to is i want to go virtual with my planner because i have this giant planner right now and i never want to take anywhere so this is super portable it'll fit in probably any purse that I own that's not like a tiny little like crossbody so that's really nice this is super portable I mean the screen is the size that I would expect it's just everything else the thinness the weight everything it's so nice and like I said I mean that's exactly how the MacBook Air is obviously it's heavier because it's a whole computer but it's very thin you get the point okay so we're gonna take off the plastic this is so scary oh my gosh okay I like don't want to get any fingerprints on it, but I'm going to. I mean, I have to touch it. Oh, ring light. Oh my gosh. This is the cleanest thing 
I've ever seen. Like, look at how solid that is. You don't see anything on it. Okay, it's brand new. I know, I know. What do I expect? But it's it's just very exciting for me, okay? So, this is what the camera looks like. It's just like a regular, you know, one little thing. It just has one little charging port, and then nothing there. Uh, nothing there besides speakers and the sides are pretty empty but like as the Apple products develop I mean we lose ports all the time it does just have like the lock button at the top obviously and then the volume buttons yeah okay let me plug her in okay I just got a power strip so I can plug it in right in front of the camera Now we're just going through the languages. I think it was just like loading. We're back to a blank screen. Swipe to open. I swear it said swipe to open. Yeah. Oh, swipe up. I was swiping side. Okay, sorry. That was dumb. So if we set it up, we'll just click English, US, quick start. So it looks like you can bring your iPhone near this iPad to sign in and set it up. So I'm literally just going to do that because it's probably the easiest way. It literally just says set up new iPad. So I'm going to click right on continue. That's pretty nice. Waiting for iPhone. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Hold your new iPad up to the camera. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, so it has that and this has a camera on it. You literally match up the circle and then it connects. Oh, that is so cool. Enter your passcode of my phone. Perfect. Setting up your iPad. I'm so sorry about this ring light. I'm sorry. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. That's okay. Take your sweet time. Touch ID. Use your fingerprint in place of your passcode. So there's no home button though, so I'm not sure where the touch ID goes okay so the touch id you set it up instead of the old iphones with the fingerprint you know and the home button your touch id is literally the lock button that's actually really cool so i'm going to continue that and set it up you literally just do this like it says it's like directing you see how it like fills in your fingerprint y you know you know like the other iphones before we had the face id we don't need another fingerprint this is for me so now it's just setting up my apple id because it was connected right from my phone that's so easy so we agree to terms and conditions without reading because i'm a normal human here and now it's just finishing the setup so you do have the option to like restore everything from your iCloud, your Mac, your Android, <laughs> or you just don't have to transfer everything. I honestly might not because I don't want everything that's on my phone on the iPad. So I'm just going to hit don't transfer. You can have Siri, Apple Pay, whatever. And obviously all this stuff you can set up later too. So after you just kind of fill out like what apps you want and do you want to enable whatever and whatever. So it just says welcome. I'm going to get started. And here we are. Ooh, this is nice. I have actually never owned an iPad before. This is my first one. I know iPads have been out forever, but I've just never been an iPad owner. So this is it. Obviously, when you first set it up, there's like all these tips popping up everywhere. It's like, learn this, do this, tip here, tip there. But it just looks really nice. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just cool. Obviously, right now, it just has like the regular apps that it comes with on Apple. So I'm gonna like customize it, play with it, set it up. Maybe I'll update you. But for now, I'm gonna lock it and open up the pencil. Oh, it's really like strapped in here. It does slide out from the side. I think this is how the Apple Watch ones though are, so that makes sense. So again, this top layer just has all the information, all the whatevers. You could get your Apple Pencil engraved. I did, you're kidding. I am so, I, I need to be more careful. I did not get mine engraved, however. So this is what it looks like. It honestly is very simple. I thought there was going to be more to it. It is very simple. I did try looking on Amazon for like a dupe that wasn't the actual Apple Pencil that I could get cheaper that was compatible with the new iPad Air and I just couldn't. I don't know. I probably could have searched a little bit harder but I ended up just getting it. It does say Apple Pencil right there and it has like the one flat edge but the rest is round. So like I said, it is very simple. Like there's literally nothing to it. Like this is what the tip looks like. Like that's really it. Okay, last thing, I'll just quickly open the case because this is literally just from Amazon, comes in a box. I can like link this too if anyone's looking. I really wanted to get a case in like a nude or like a beige color and I couldn't find one. So I just got a plain black one. I'm guessing that just because this iPad is so new, there's not as many options out there. So it obviously like has the folds like that. Ooh. Foam, that's nice some directions it is like a nice kind of flexible material but it still feels like it'll be nice for the iPad and then I think there's room for the pencil to fit in here let's put it together so there we go simple as that I know the case isn't that exciting but 
that's that. Oh, I know. So the reason there is a flat edge is because I'm pretty sure it is magnetized to the iPad, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's just on the other side. Okay, so the pencil sticks on this side of the tablet on the outside. That's honestly kind of a little scary though, because if it's in my purse like roughed around, I mean, it's not gonna hurt it if the pencil falls in my purse, but I just feel like this isn't the most secure. I kind of rather have the pencil like on the inside of the case. Like if the case, I don't know, somehow could be bigger and whatever, but this is good. This is like a nice setup. Obviously it has like a charging port, room for the volume buttons, the lock button. So it's just a decent like case, plain black. It was like 10 bucks. So I am going to play with this kind of maybe customize it a little and I'll update you with like anything I find, but that is the unboxing portion. I did get an email today. That was really nice. Since my iPad was going to be delivered today, Apple sent me an email. It says explore your iPad with a specialist online. So you can make like a little appointment and then virtually, I think it's a real person or maybe not. I honestly don't know, but you can schedule a session and select things that you want to learn about and they'll go over it with you for your iPad, which is so so cool. You can only select two categories, so we'll see what I end up choosing. So apparently you have to like connect your pencil in your iPad. I didn't know. I was literally trying to tap and I was getting frustrated. So you literally just press it on here and then it pops up and says connect. See it like knows your Apple Pencil's on. Your Apple Pencil also charges when it's on here. That's insane. I had no idea. So I'm just going to continue. Try scribble. Use the pencil and handwrite. Double tap on your Apple Pencil to switch between the tool you're using. Well, that's fun. Easy setup. So it's a little bit later. I'm getting ready for that appointment that I talked to you about. I was able to book one. I did select the pencil and then also like photography, like editing apps, things like that to learn about. They did send me like a confirmation email so I can go ahead and click the link. And then they say you need a computer, which I have set up right here. <laughs> and then also your phone so they can talk to you. And then your device. So obviously I have my new iPad here. I really want to make a second appointment because I want to learn about the work side of it. There was one that was like work and productivity and stuff. I think it'd have really good things in it still to learn. So I'm gonna see if I can make a second appointment. So it says to click start session a couple minutes early. Oh wow, only a minute and a half. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting. We're ready when you are. Okay, start. So now they want me to enter my phone number so they can give me a call. I like didn't want my computer camera to turn on and then see like why why is she like have a camera like weird, you know? Hello Morgan, welcome to Apple. My name is Chris and I'll be calling you at the number you provided in a moment. Are you ready? Uh, yes, Chris. Oh, he's calling. Hello? Hey there, Morgan. This is Chris. How are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good today. I'm going to be the person that's helping you out with your personal session and your new iPad. Sounds good. Kind of just chatting just to get to know each other and kind of your goals for using that device and stuff, okay? Okay. I'm just going to allow you to immediately start drawing somewhere. Can you try that for me? Yes. Okay. okay. So you'll notice here that we now have a, um, a toolbar. Now, this is the default tool. Uh, kind of not the tip, but just below it. Can you kind of tap the pencil twice for me? So I just finished my session. It was about a half an hour long and he was so helpful. So basically they called me and then they were able to have me share my screen with them. You can end it at any time if you like want to discontinue it or whatever. So that was really helpful because he, as you saw, like literally the arrow told me like, hey, why don't you click on this? Like this, this, whatever. He was super helpful. So it was like a very good session, honestly. And I'm very happy that I chose Apple Pencil and like the photo editing. You do only get one session per customer, which makes sense. But I did ask him kind of what I was missing out on because I didn't do the work and productivity thing. And he said it was a lot about like files and organization and tags and stuff like that. So I think I picked what was good for me, but I just wanted to kind of tell you about it. Like definitely recommend it. It's very cool. If you get an iPad or like a device and you have the opportunity, totally take advantage of it because it was great. And he was able to like recommend apps and like help me with things and like even like the page app that comes with Apple products. I didn't know how versatile it was. So that is everything. I hope this was helpful. Definitely comment any questions that you might have. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video.